Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Just a quick Q&A for Judy. Um, Judy asked uh, about uh, Hebrews 4 and verse 8. Um, and uh, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> it's a break from what's really happening and what's going on. Isn't this more important? Hallelujah. Um, Judy says, uh, um, Hebrews 4, 8, for if, and of course, uh, uh, we'll read 7 and 8, uh, 7 through 9, Hebrews 4, 7 through 9. And again, he limited the certain day, saying, In David, today, after so long a time, as it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. What? Harden not your hearts, Paul talked about in another place, um, uh, that uh, as in the provocation, as in the wilderness, um, and also here, uh, he refers to those same people, that same time frame, when he says, for if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Um, the question was, uh, isn't that Joshua? Um, she asked my opinion on this. Um, opinion, okay, that's great, but let me give you some fact here. There are two names. In the Hebrew, Yehoshua and Yeshua. All right. Hebrew, Yehoshua and Yeshua have the same meaning. This, the meaning is God our Savior or Jehovah saves. All right. The name Joshua and Jesus are almost identical in the Hebrew. Um, uh, there is uh, the differences in inflection. Right? Uh, and uh, it's really irrelevant in the sense that who was in Joshua leading the people, God's people, into the promised land. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, one plus one equals two. We know that it was Jesus. So this is why the King James translators did translate his name, did put his name instead of the name of Joshua. Um, were they just glorifying the Lord? Or did they see what I see and then did interpret it as Jesus? Should be Jesus, right? Um, Jesus is the one that gave them rest, not Joshua. Joshua didn't give them rest. Jesus gave them rest. So I'm content with Jesus in the King James Version. Uh, uh, not because it's, you know, the King James Version, but Hallelujah, right? Um, when you stick with the best, all the rest becomes elementary. Amen. Uh, I hope that helps you. As for Judy, as for Psalm 95 being written, whoever common, the commentator was, I don't know. I would drop that commentary completely. Um, if someone says that Jesus wrote Psalm 95... Well, again, you could apply the same wisdom in saying that this is the Word of God, right? And who is the Word of God according to John 1.1? 1, 1? It's Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus is the living, the rhema word. The, you know, he is um, not the plenary, verbal plenary word. All right. This is not the verbal plenary word. This is not the rhema word, but it is all of it in the sense that it is the logos. It is the divine expression, right? And so Jesus was the human form of Almighty God, speaking the words of God, hallelujah, and then moving his disciples slash apostles to transmit, transcribe, transpose, pass on, and the translation then was protected all throughout the centuries and brought to us in the English language. God knowing that the English was going to be the lingua franca. Here you are in Mexico writing me in English. Hallelujah. And uh, you see English all over the place down there, I'm sure, in stores and everything else. English is the lingua franca of the world. And God knew that. And that's why God allowed that translation to come out when it did and become what it has been and what it will always be the eternal word of the living God. Um, if you read it in another translation, you're going to get another translation's perspective. Stick with that. Stick with the King, King James Version. Um, 
Yeah, I know, Judy, I think uh, you like the new King James Version as well. Um, I never did like it, but uh, it is from the same trans uh, translation um, tradition. So, uh, yeah, um, but that's it. I believe the new King James uh, says uh, Jesus as well. Um, it doesn't correct it. Uh, it might, it might correct it. It might have corrected it and made it say Joshua. Um, now you got me looking. I got to look. King, New King James Version. One second. And I'll get a new KJV out right here and say, okay, Joshua, Hebrews 4, 8. I'm interested now. I think the New King James changed it. And so in that sense, then I would reject that and tell you, stick with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4. There it is. Let's see. Oh, guess what? Ah, oh, no good. The New King James Version changed it. Yeah. Um, for if Joshua had given them rest. Again, okay. So if it comes down to that, then not really um, bad it's not like wicked. It's not satanically inspired. It's just. Now, you know why the Lord moved me to come, come back to um, this place that I call home. Um, very simple. Um, it's because this is the most trustworthy English translation you will ever read. Pick it up, read it, trust it. And uh, use it as your base. You want to use other translations for comparative studies? You're going to find out the same thing I found out. And, it, you know, I knew it all along. I just gave the modern critical text a chance. I only did it because um, I wanted to see if the LSB was all that and more. And uh, all the Lord did was drive me home. That's all it did. The Lord used it to bring me back to where I belong. And uh, the changes in my life have been astronomically um, uh, amazing, um, guided by God, being used by God, doing things that only the Lord can make happen. Um, and it's all because... I obeyed his call and came home. That's it. So stay where you are. Trust uh, the word of God and know that it is the word of God and that you can trust it. It is the written word of the living God in the English and you can trust it. I um, hope that helps, Judy. Uh, yeah. Um, Yahashua or Yeshua. The same the same meaning in Hebrew. They mean the same. So, and then again, like I said, who was in Joshua when he was being moved to lead the people across to the promised land? We know it was Jesus. Hallelujah, right? Amen. God bless you, Saint. Thanks for uh, writing in and thanks for asking the question. I hope this helps anybody else who's listening. Uh, keep praying for the Alistair Begg situation. We'll be talking about this tonight on a uh, live stream. Um, hope you're there. And uh, I hope uh, that it, it just blesses you. And we're going to close it up too. We're just going to close it up and and uh, amen. But uh, we'll talk about uh, this latest thing and close it up with that. So, hey, thanks for watching. See you tonight at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Yeah, have a great rest of your day in Jesus' name.